one. Same with like Persona 4. Uh, Persona 4 Golden, I don't know if I, I'm sure I talked about it on stream, how like this one person just went crazy. I talked about it on stream, right? Like the recent one, not the one that happened years ago. I 100% I talked about it. There's no way I didn't talk about it. Have I not talked about this? Have I not talked about this? Oh. Oh, strap in. Strap in. I know I've talked about it on Twitter, but I have not talked about it on stream. Oh. Okay. Sure. We'll talk about it. Yeah. There's a few. <laughs> I got to pull up this. <laughs> Hold up a second. Uh, one second. Oh my gosh. How have I not talked about this on stream? I have been busy in my defense. All right. Now let's talk about the thing I want to talk about. So, hold on, let me put the music back on. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I started playing Persona 4 Golden off stream by myself to enjoy it and have a good time without it getting spoiled. But, to, but to still kind of like keep people involved in some way, because that's the kind of guy I am. I started making a thread. I started making a thread of just like pictures of what my journey has been like with Persona 4. One tweet blew the hell up and it was this one. This thing had almost 10,000 views and I go, ew, I gotta put up with this for a year. And then people started vague, like spoiling the game, right? This, I literally have only played the game for three hours. So if you spoil the game in chat, you will get banned. I'm telling you right now. Um, because I got spoiled by this game years ago, right? So all I said, all I said, because a friend told me, I was like, I'm glad a friend told me, but apparently you guys are already spoiling the game vaguely. That's the end of the thread. Not even going to look at the replies. It took less than 30 minutes. Great job. So all I said was I was gonna stop posting about it. I wasn't blocking people. I wasn't like telling people not to spoil the game. I was telling, I was asking people not to spoil the game for me. Like you could talk about Persona 4 Golding all you fucking want, like go for it. I don't care. Just not in my stream until I'm done with it or in that thread, you know? <clears throat> So I stopped posting about it. Then my lovely partner Hayden, which you guys know, got a lovely, just the, the best email anyone could ever hope for by a, a, a anonymous, an, I said unanimous, uh, by an anonymous uh, piece of crap. Uh, this is them. Uh, John Doe, fake name, obviously. So I'll read it to you. Uh, before oh, that, hold on. Brother, this guy stinks! Let me find the right music for this, hold on. Hold on, chat. Yeah, that didn't work. Ahem. <clears throat> Here, I'll even give it the Alistair voice, just to make it a little entertaining. <clears throat> Greetings to the person who goes by the name of Hayden Davio. I have been told your husband, Alejandro Saab, operator of Kagi Films and Sai VTuber on Twitter, Twitch, etc., has been obsessing over banning, blocking people from looking at his social media profiles and or whining at people for talking about the Persona 4 story. Because the Persona 4 games series has playable on most gaming systems from 2008 onwards. I am referring to Persona 4 Original and Persona 4 Golden. Please tell your husband to chill out and... Also, uh, the reason I'm saying 4 is because this person has decided to spell out Persona 4 uh, as opposed to using the number 4. Um, oh, there's more. <clears throat> 
tell your husband to chill out and stop his excessive madness. Please allow people to help him out on certain parts of the Persona 4 gameplay mechanics. If he has been banning slash blocking people from looking at his social media profiles over the past couple of days and or years over these matters, I would advise that you tell him to remove them from his social media ban slash block list and apologize for his reckless behavior. How do you think other voice artists, including people who have worked on these games, Yuri Lowenthal, Sam Regal, Dave Wittenberg, Johnny Young, Bosch, Aaron Fitzgerald, Laura Bailey, Eden Regal, Karen Strassman, etc., would feel about his actions if he suddenly banned slash blocked people, including his friends, from looking at his social media profiles and or get really angry at people for talking about the Persona 4 storylines, including plots from the Persona 4 arena series. <clears throat> Aaron Fitzgerald, Laura Bay, uh, Persona 4 dancing, etc. Thank you for the subs. I will say, some people from the real world and or social media do not want his acting career and or social media careers to spiral downwards, which might include his talent agencies no longer offering to help assist with future working, uh, future work, social media work, etc. Please tell him to take my advice into consideration. I have had to deal with tough situations that were somewhat similar to some of his experiences. Please do not make any replies to this message, but share my advice with Alejandro Saab, operator of Kaggy Films and Sayu VTuber on Twitter, Twitch, etc. to avoid further meltdowns in the future. Sincerely, John Doe, pronouns he, him, slash his, country resident, United States of America. I am not going to re reveal my true identity because privacy, safety, security reasons, concerns. <sighs> so yeah, um... This guy's a nut job. Um, so basically, TLDR as to what they wanted. They were upset. Brother, this guy stinks. They were upset that they couldn't spoil the game or give me advice on said game to backseat and tell me how to play Persona 4, which is they just want to hold my hand. They're like, oh no, 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 you're not capable I'm of playing a Persona you game. Until you beg for mercy. Brother, this guy stinks. So yeah, that was a real thing that happened. Chat, I didn't block anybody. I didn't whine on Twitter. I've whined on Twitch obviously because i hate spoilers while i'm in the middle of playing a game but yeah all i did was stop posting about it i will say if i did know this person's true identity i would 100 percent put them on blast and i know that people would be like oh but sayu you're supposed to be a professional the bigger man and i'm like yeah but he messaged my spouse about this trivial bullshit so, I think I'm justified in calling them out. Also, can I just say, Laura Bailey, Aaron Fitzgerald, Yuri Lowenthal, Sam Regal, all these voice actors in the oh, game. Oh no, do not, hold on. <clears throat> do not give a flying fuck if I'm playing the game. Hell, my agent doesn't give a flying fuck if I'm playing the game. It does not affect me. Also, if they did, you know what would happen. My agent would call me up and I'd be like, hello. And he'd be like, hi, Alejandro. How's it going? I'm like, hey, what's up? I heard you're playing for Sona 4. I'm like, yeah, what's good? Are you liking it? Oh, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm not even kidding. I have one of my agents is such a mega weeb and I love him. I absolutely adore him. Went to a car. He went to Anime Impulse when Don and I were that where a bunch of the Persona 3 reload cast was there and he's like, yeah, I'm really far into the game already and I'm really enjoying it. And I was like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I played the original and I was like, oh, that's so precious. So literally my agent would probably call me up just to be like, how far are you in the game? Like that would be literally the only reason they would give a fuck. But yeah, they don't care. They don't care if I'm 
not posting about it on Twitter or if I'm not streaming it. Also, my agent doesn't care if I stream. In fact, they've called me on the phone and been like, hey, we know that you stream. If it gets in the way of like voiceover, let us know. We can reschedule around it. And I'm like, no, 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 please. I'll reschedule my stream to the voiceover. That's how, you know? And they're like, oh, of course, thank you. And you know, it's called communication, asshole. So, uh, yeah. All that to say, this is the reason why I don't play Persona 4 on, sorry, Persona 4 on stream. This is the exact reason. Literally what that guy listed was the exact reason why I didn't play, why I stopped playing Persona 4 literally on stream years ago and why I didn't play Persona 4 on stream now. And obviously it's Persona 4! So, um, yeah. Those were, that was a real email that they sent Hayden <clears throat> four times. I'm not even kidding. They actually did send the exact same email four times. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Vikachu, thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Uh, for the five gifted. So, um, yeah, they sent the email four times. Yep. It's, uh, it's a crazy world out there, chat. You know, I always thought, and here's the thing, chat. You're, you guys ain't no saints. Genshin fans. Genshin fans and Honkai fans love to spoil. But I don't think I've dealt with anyone as bad as Persona 4 fans. And the crazy part is, hey, Tara, thank you for this up. The crazy part is, like, I dealt with people trying to spoil Persona 3 Reload, obviously. I've dealt with people trying to spoil Persona 5, but I was like, joke's on you, I already beat it. But Persona 4 fans, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with the world. Like, cause like, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you say, does he know? Clearly something is going to happen. Cause that, that picture with like the dude with the buck teeth is riddled with, does he know? So that leads me to believe that one of two things is happening. Either this dude is dying or he gets rid of his buck teeth. One or the other. One or the other. And that's just what I'm going to believe is going to happen. Has too much time. Agreed. But yeah, moral of the story is I'm not going to tell you the next time I play Persona 4. 